Hi Star Babies, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to just hang out and ask each other questions. Um, he's going to interview me and I'm just going to respond with a few questions myself. So without further ado, let us get right into this video. Alright guys, I'm going to be using my Versace I mic. Talk loud. All right, guys. Not that loud to me. <laughs> like, just like, alright guys. Alright guys, I'm going to be using my Versace microphone as you can see turn it back on and I'm going to be using these questions that I really want to ask my sister so here's the first question can you see yourself being successful can, uh, sorry can you see yourself okay. being if you want to take your retainer off you can whatever is more comfortable for you do you feel comfortable I feel better like this okay just my retainer is in the way can you see yourself being as successful as an esthetician that's a good question yes I can this is something I've always wanted to do it's just my dream to be, <laughs> you know, to hold it so close. It's just my dream to be to be helping people with their skin, bringing them joy, to help them love the skin that they're in. All right, next question. Why did you choose skincare? Well, the reason why I chose skincare was because I was always around a salon setting, which is well, you know, mom. She was a cosmetologist. However, she was she cosmetologists do a little bit of everything. Being in that environment kind of triggered me. I guess interested in. <laughs> Skincare. Being around all these kinds of soaps and chemicals and seeing different kinds of skin types, I always found myself looking at other people's skin and I just was so interested, I guess, in the aspect of changing people's lives by the way that they look, them, look at themselves. What have you always wanted? Did you ever get it? Hmm. Yes. Okay. So something that I always, always wanted. Well, I want a lot of things. One of the things that I've wanted was... I guess to accomplish my dreams, build something from nothing, and I kind of did that. I mean, I'm not where I completely want to be with my YouTube channel and Starbees herself, but I'm pretty proud of how far I've gotten. That's something that I've always wanted. And another thing is wanting to see the Strokes live. I've wanted that since I was about 16, and I saw them live about almost a year ago. Okay, next question. What was the last lie you told? That last answer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. We'll come back to that question. I don't know. I don't really lie a lot. Mom always tells me she could tell one. If you could wake up tomorrow in the body of someone else, who would you pick and what would you do? <laughs> I guess I would want to be Juliet Casablancas so I can wake up as Julian Casablancas' wife and live the lovely life she lives. Where were you three hours ago? Do you think someone was stalking you? Yes, and I was at home. Have you ever eaten, I have on this question, I've eaten the first two things. Have you ever eaten a crayon or glue? Or what strange thing have you eaten? I ate dirt once and sap, tree sap. <gasps> Me too. Um, and what something, happened? I got really sick. Anything for those kids that want to eat tree sap out there and are curious of how it tastes like? Don't do it, kids. It's bad for you. I got diarrhea. <laughs> and you threw up. <laughs> I want to throw up. What cheers you up? Listening to music cheers me up at full blasts, and drinking Starbucks and eating hot Cheetos. Mm. What is the most memorable class you have ever taken? The most memorable class I've ever taken would probably be, I've taken a lot of classes, but I think my first dermalogica class, that was like a huge thing for me, being in the IDI, stu what do you do? Being in the IDI, uh, I guess, um, industry, like the building, that was really interesting to me because, I mean, I was a huge fan of Dermalogica. If you ever taken dance lessons, would you want to who would you want to dance with? Yes, I've taken dance lessons. I danced since I was four. Um, I'd want to dance with a little bit, but also, hmm, oh yeah, Julian Casablancas. Would you rather pry off your thumbnail with a fork? Or put a toothpick, or put a toothpick under your big toenail and kick it, kick a wall. Tell me why I was thinking about my thumbnail for YouTube. Damn, I think my toenail one. What kind of sickness have you lied about so you wouldn't go to work or school? The classic. My stomach hurts. Have you ever danced in the rain? Yes, I have actually. Now that I just remembered, I have. I didn't like it. What is your blood type? Honestly, I have no idea. Have you ever been in a car accident? Yes, not fun. And if you could have anyone locked in a room so that you could torment them for a day, whom would you choose and and how would you torment them? Dang. I don't know. I mean, I don't really despise anyone enough to torment them. 
Do you feel that children should be sheltered for, from unhappiness? In a sense, but then at the same time, they should know. What's your favorite type of um, esthetician cream or favorite esthetician brand? My favorite product. Product. There my favorite go. product? Okay. Facial toners are my favorite because they feel so good when you spritz them on your face and it just gives you so much hydration. Would you rather keep the dog we have now, which is a Rottweiler named Patron, or get two teacup sized Yorkies? Patron, I love him. You'll see a picture of Patron right now. If you could have personally witnessed anything, what would you want to have seen? Oh man, the two dollar bill concert from The Strokes on MTV. <gasps> Wait, hold this. It's everything I've ever wanted. Okay. Oh, we don't need this. I have no some by heart. In your chair, that is so bad. Oh my gosh, stop. This? <laughs> Did she get all sweaty? All of a sudden, I got sweaty. Why are you looking red? Have you ever lied to me? Have I ever lied to you? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to go into high school? Yes, I am, because I'm excited about the baseball program that's going to happen, and hopefully I can make the team. Any goals for this upcoming year? Probably to buy my first car, pay it all off, and be a more successful person than I am today. That's for you, Dad. What's one thing that scares you? The people that don't turn on those post notifications and don't subscribe to Star Babies channels. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to say to our Star Babies out there? Yes, two questions. Do you want to have a meet and greet? And where do you want it to be? Comment down below. Down there. What's one childhood memory that you have of us? Um, where I sprayed a spray blade. Sprayed bleach on your t-shirt. That was my favorite t-shirt. It was my <gasps> oh, and I didn't, and I did not know. I gave a bad report to Lowe's because their store sucks because they don't put like blocks or locks. Shout on. out to Lowe's though for these lights. <laughs> but yeah, they don't put um, locks or any protection for those spider sprayer things. Because one time I just pressed the button and I sprayed it into my sister's eyes. And my mom's just like, the you on this side, you on this side, now get along. And we just stayed quiet. For I think I was about day. 14 and you were like, mm, seven, nine. Would you ever have a YouTube channel of your, um, like on your own? I don't know. Comment down below if I should make vlogs. Here, okay. you can ask me one more. Okay. And then close it out. Ow, oh. that, that was where my freaking bruise was. <laughs> Anything to say? Ow! Do you think Joey Casablancas was better better off with his group, or do you think it was a good choice for him to go solo? I love the Strokes and the Voids, but his solo career was popping. The last question: On a girl, do you like when she has highlight or sharp eyeliner? Ooh, well, I don't really go for their looks. Uh, you know, and I hate when I say that, but that's true. But if they think makeup makes them look prettier, then I'm, okay. I'm, You'll support her. I'll, I'll, I'll support her how she wants to dress. Huh? That's good. I'm proud of and you. And then if I had to choose one, I'd probably, probably the highlight. No, no, no. Probably the eyeliner because her face already puts a... Uh, I'll just say something you're, cheesy. You're good. You're good. <laughs> All right, so I'd I've heard that one before. I'd, I'd probably choose... You're the hi she's the highlight of your life. She's the highlight what? of my life, so I'd put some eyeliner on her or she'd put some eyeliner there you go. And I that concludes. I don't, I don't have a girlfriend though, so. He doesn't have a girlfriend. That concludes our QA. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you guys. Yeah, later. this is Star Baby's agent. After I don't want it. I don't want any two zeros to that. You got a deal. Alright, bye. Don't start yet. Okay, my bad. Wait, 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 wait. If you're a Star Baby's fan and, if you, and you know this song, comment down below and I'll give you a shout out on my Instagram. Oh, fuck! <laughs> 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 I remember.